This is the Hovercam uh, Ultra 8, uses Hovercam Flex 10 software. I'm going to be showing you how I use this to record videos today. Starting out today, I just want to show you how to load the software if you have it. Um, let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit. Now, the only reason I'm doing this is because I want to show you the difference between having to record a screen in this horrible way and using a screen cast, uh, which is what we're going to hopefully have. So Hovercam Flex 10, click on the software, and let that look. I want to show you how I use this tool that's a little bit differently than normal document camera stuff. So I'm going to move it over here to my big screen, and I'm going to slip under something so that you can see uh, what I'm doing. Make it nice and visible. Flip it upside down. So there you go. So you can see from my mouse that this is on the screen. I'm here. I could show this to students. Document camera, right? What makes this really special is that you can record what you're doing. Now, you, you might already know that, uh, but I'm just taking advantage of a tool that's already there because I can click here on the record button, click the, the circle, and it records what I'm doing, saves it to a file, and then I can upload that, show students how to draw things, do math, that kind of thing. And my thought was, well, hey, I wonder if it can record me. Is I'm kind of short on cameras here, so I'm just going to flip this up, shoot it at me, turn it upside down, and then before you know it, you're seeing a video of me being recorded by a video. <laughs> uh, goofiness there. Uh, so this is what I did, and it's actually really high quality recording if you have this uh, hover camera. So this is to show you what I'm talking about. If you click the, the red circle here, it will give you a, a recording. It records the screen for you. Um, but this is kind of hard to show through a video camera to show you how to use a video camera. So I'm going to stop it, and I want to show you the other way, and that's using not the circle for record, but the little screen for record. And when I click this button, uh, it looks like nothing happened, but hey, wait, what is this recording? Well, what it's doing is actually recording your primary screen, and anything you do on that primary screen becomes part of the recording with all the sound. And that's where I was like, ha, I can, I, I can use this. So let's see what this looks like from the actual screencast recording from the Hovercam software. Let's switch. Okay, so I'm going to adjust the camera here so you can uh, see my horrible face <laughs> um, as I do this. Um, you know, I guess it would be really fun if I could turn this and you can get one of those cool loops there. Okay, you could see myself looking at myself, looking at myself, and, and so on and so forth here. But what I really want you to focus on is the screen right here. So what I'm going to do is this this is the software. So follow my mouse here and right now I'm I'm actively recording. Um, if I come over here to settings and this is really the power of this is I can choose how uh, high quality I want the recording to be. I can choose which microphone I want to work. It comes with a microphone. I found that the microphone on my on the laptops that we have work work way better. Um, you could use the integrated camera or you could use this camera uh, and that's actually really cool in itself. Um, this doesn't really change. Okay, I, I prefer to try to do a little bit of the flicker removal. I don't know if it really helps, but hey, there you go. So that's your camera option. You come over here to scan, okay, nope, not helping me. Here it is, yes, yes, this is what I want. So I've told it to record with maximum quality, and that's that's me. I really like really high quality stuff. It does take up a lot of data space, but if you don't want it to take up as much data space, you could change that. It even tells you how, how much it's going to be. Uh, this is going to be a very high gigabyte video. But what's really helpful is the save folder here, okay? 
it uh, tells me where that's going to save to and I'm like hey I don't want it to save that way well I can go to archive and actually tell it exactly where to save it to now you notice the note I changing it's not a good idea as I'm actively recording but this is how you do that very very simple um, and I go back to recording here and I'm also going to choose uh, mp4 versus uh, WMV um, I don't prefer the Windows Media Files because I have an Apple. I do everything with my Apple as far as video goes. And then it goes video 000, and then 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4. So I want to show you that. So I'm going to pull up here. So notice I have the Explorer. And that popped up on this window. So I'm going to pull this down over here so where you guys can see this. Okay, so it likes to put it in the Documents. So I go to Documents. And I haven't changed it. This is where it likes to place things. Uh, Hovercam Flex is the folder. Go to Library. Now you can go to Images. You can take screenshots. Um, so you can see a, a screenshot of my room that I took er earlier. Uh, pretty high quality picture actually. I'm going to go ahead and close that. Let's go back and go to Video. And you can see some of the different uh, videos I'm doing. This one is currently being recorded right now. Um, Let's see, it's, these are the ones of me just trying to get set up to do this. Um, and here I can uh, watch myself. Hey guys, welcome to Engineering Center. Watching myself trying to make a video uh, with this rec uh, recording. I did do the, the intro recording for my class with this. I don't plan on using it all the time, but it actually worked really well and I was really impressed with the quality of that so without too much problem you could make videos um, another video that I made is is uh, this guy here okay so we're switched and hey and just to show you in fact, I walked all the students through how to log into project lead the way simply by doing what I'm doing right now and that is recording the screen um, and this just the screencast with this is really one of the most powerful things because you get my voice and I can guide them through it and the students are used to hearing from me or at least my students last year would be used to hearing from me as I walk them through whatever challenging web application is whether it be Tinkercad or Fusion 360 or really whatever software um, they, need, they need to work through. Let me close that so as long as you know where your videos are there's a lot that you can do with this. It's just very some very simple settings here. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, hit cancel. There's a lot of controls here, but really the biggest one for me that helped was I hit record, and then I clicked on the computer screen, and then it does my uh, main monitor. It starts to record my main monitor. I hope that helps. Um, you know, this is a pretty powerful tool, so if you have one of these, hey, I plan to do videos this year, whether I succeed or not, is <laughs> we're going to find out. But this is one of the ways that I'm doing it because I can do screen recordings on uh, uh, something that they're kind of familiar seeing, doing it on Windows. And if we already have it and it's already provided for us, I don't have to buy anything. I don't have to search for anything else. So there you go. If you have questions, um, uh, feel free to email me. Um, all right. Have a good day.